I'm going to introduce our bird question where pruning an optimal neural implant. Structural pruning mainly discards a group of parameters like NCNs. We discard channels, and it is what we focus on in this work because it's hardware friendly. Following optimal brain surgeon, we regard the sensitivity of the parameter as the matrix, as it is the direct influence of discarding parameter to the objective. So we conduct a second order analysis to this problem. We derive total expansion to the second order term and suppose that the network is already trained to local minimum. Under this condition, the gradient is zero, hygiene matrix is posit positive semi-definite, and higher order terms can be discarded according to optimal brain surgeon. We can then formulate our problem like this. The sensitive, the sensitive term is the first line, and pruning constraint is the second line. The target now is to choose the correct group of parameters to minimize change of loss. Here, group P refers to the groups that are to be pruned, and L refers to those that are left. We apply Lagrange multiplier to solve this so we can get these two terms. We can do some easy math to get our final sensitivity matrix as the last line on this page, which is the group version of OBS. Optimal brain surgeon is not satisfactory in three aspects. Firstly, it needs calculation of hygiene numbers. Uh, secondly, it requires per parameter, per, per parameter sensitivity measurement. And at last, it's unstructured, which is however unfriendly. To fix these three problems, firstly, we decided to group the parameters in the formulation, formulation so that we can calculate the sensitivity of the whole channel together, neither by calculating one at a time and permanent, nor using the sum of element-wise sensitivity, which is not accurate. Remember that in OBD, to prevent calculation of hygiene inverse, optimal brain damage ignores the cross-parameter dependencies and approximate hygiene as a diagonal operator. As hygiene cannot be diagonal in practice, we apply a more reasonable assumption than zero cross-parameter correlation. We assume that there is no cross-channel correlation so that the block element that is not on the diagonal are zeros, and the part with inverse also becomes zero. So there is no need to calculate hygiene inverse anymore, but we still need to approximate a hydro quadratic formulation here. We've already approximated hygiene as a block diagonal operator. What we need to do next is to approximate each block with a diagonal operator where the hygiene trace is regarded as the diagonal entries. To summarize, the cross-channel independency do as a favor to get rid of the hygiene numbers, and we use trace to approximate a quadratic formulation. The trace can be calculated with an efficient Hutchinson algorithm. Getting help from these scenes mentioned above, we are, we are able to calculate channel-wise sensitivity to decide the channels to be pruned, which actually realize structure pruning. HAP performs good with, with smaller flops and smaller accuracy drop. This was the result shown on CFR10 with ResNet56, but it's not enough on this example. It still suffers from performance drop. In HAP, we sort the channels from most sensitive to least sensitive. For target model size or flops, we have to prune among the channels that is relatively insensitive. This approach works great, as long as all these channels are extremely insensitive. However, in practice, some of the sorted channels will exhibit some level of sensitivity. As we need to satisfy the computational constraints, we need to prune them out. The very sensitive channels, inevitably, the performance will drop significantly for this reason. We found that a better approach is to avoid entirely pruning these sensitivity ch sensitive channels and instead add a pointwise convolution as a neural implant. This allows some information to flow through these relatively sensitive channels with less parameters. We can see that HAP with neural implant has significant better performance increase in this example, suffers from only 0.96 top one accuracy drop with similar number of flops. To summarize, we apply second order analysis to choose the parameters that should be pruned instead of directly using magnitude as the matrix. And we also apply neural implant to preserve the information loss caused by pruning out the sensitive layers. Thank you for your listening. If you want more details of our work, you can refer to our paper.